Shalom Bocha guys, how are you doing? Baruch Hashem, we're doing the best we can all the time to deliver more and more knowledge from an uh, ancient source and with no doubt we see great results to this uh, effort of ours it's kind of amazing to see how a person can uh, can rise from such such place that he feels like so like empty with himself and doesn't know an answer to to any question in his life and with time the creator opens for him gates of knowledge gates of understanding and um, it's truly amazing because I said it many times, I know with no doubt that the main reason why the Creator gave me this um, power to teach and to guide others and to lead so many people in such a beautiful and fantastic path is because that for me it's 100% clear that all the, this blessing and, and all this knowledge is coming from heaven it's really not my wisdom and not my understandings or whatever I don't take no credit for for those um, very deep and solid um, understandings and uh, I consider and I see that as a great illumination from within that is uh, basically the grace and the kindness of heaven to to shine upon those ones who follow him with an honest heart. Now, I know myself and I know I'm honest. I know that, like simply, I just know what I'm doing. I know in which way I walk and and what am I trying to achieve. And, and I see that the Creator find me kosher, qualified to pass his message and his light through me to to the rest of his people now the beauty the real beauty is that in the generation of Moses so even the most simple person of his camp saw the visions and and uh, and enjoyed the prophecy that Hashem revealed Himself to His people in such high level that was higher than the level of any other prophet and they mentioned the name of Yechezkel ben Buzi that the prophecy, the level of this, the sight of the holiness, the vessels that the nation of Israel had, every single one of them, the most tiniest one of them, was uh, was so great, was so high, that was even higher than the level of prophecy of Yechezkel ben Buzi, Yechezkel the son of Buzi. Now Yechezkel the son of Buzi, he was such a righteous man, he was such a prophet, such a noble man, such an amazing and holy person that he saw the divine chariot and in his prophecy he explains and he like reveal in details the sight that he saw of the Creator sitting on his throne of honor and when we realize that the Creator himself revealed himself in such a great way to one of his people and more than that even to the whole wide nation by the merit of Moses we can understand a little bit about the great greatness of the Creator and when I see that the Creator shine a certain light in me and he gives me strength and power to serve him with with such power and with with so much dedication and energy and i realize and i understand that 
all this greatness belong to everyone else around me? That each and every one of my students is able to rise to that same place and even more than that, exactly like that in generation, the generation of Moses, all the people that followed him, they enjoyed the light that was belonged to him, that he earned by the effort and dedication that, uh, that he put while serving the Creator from his heart. I'm talking a lot, a lot about the redemption and only for one reason, because it's happening, because it really takes place in our days. The amazing developments and the spiritual shift that we're experiencing is, is so great, is so, so, so impressive. The thing is that sometimes it's hard to recognize the glory and the light before of dawn because of those coverings, the husks that are trying to overpower one moment before the sun is rising. And the darkest hour is the hour before of dawn. Before that glimpse, the first glimpse of light is is um, is is cutting the sky and starts to illuminate and to shine the thickness and the heaviness of the darkness is uh, is in its peak and um, people today feel so lost and so confused and and so terrified and so disconnected when really they they just like they they only they just need to put send their hand and 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 to put it into their mouths like certain things that it would take thousands and thousands of hours to achieve today just by sitting and watching a short clip a st small tiny video you can already get to those high and and amazing understandings. For an example, if I, and, and I'm giving it really just for an example, if I'm, let's say, I'm working on something for years and I'm like working hard and I'm thinking about it and I'm praying for it and I asked my rabbis and I went and consult with people with life experience and with the eldest ones and righteous ones and I, like for years I was thinking and spoke for hours about that topic with my, my with my wife and like whatever went through a lot with this thing and then suddenly I'm coming after let's say 20 years 40 years I'm like to a huge realization now I'm gonna take the Facebook live and I'm gonna record that like five minutes ten minutes talk and I'm gonna post it and you're just randomly gonna run into it on social media and it's gonna hit you. Oh, right, yeah, amazing, like, whatever. And that's it, like, it, it's part of you. And you didn't suffer, you didn't dedicate all the effort and, and all the hours and all the tears and all, like, years and years and years that, that brought me to that level that I'll be able to bring it down from heaven and to understand it and that, that this answer will be so clear to me that I'll be able to explain it to you. You just, clicked on 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 the on your new messages on 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 a new post that came to your your page and 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 that's it and that that was the effort from your side now that's the greatness of the creator that's exactly what the creator is doing with us that he by the merit of the real righteous ones, by the merit of those ones who really dedicate their lives and put all the effort to serve the Creator and to reveal the light of heaven to His people, by their merit, He reveals His light to His people. And that's it. And now His people, they see the light. Now, no one said that everyone should kill themselves and suffer for that. It's like, it doesn't have to go like that. By the merit of our ancestors, we're going to inherit the Holy Land. Now, our ancestors, that we cannot compare ourselves to them, 
They did what they were supposed to do, and by their merit, we will come back to the promised land. Okay, great. We just need to come back. We don't need to fight with all the enemies and to to run all the wars and to and to and to suffer all this, the pain and suffering that 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 they did for that merit. We will just one day need to take our suitcases and, and pack our stuff and, and move to the Holy Land. And probably on the wings of eagles, like it's going to be so easy. Uh, so, by the merit of those ones, those righteous ones, we are being redeemed. And this is why I'm talking about the redemption, to open the eyes and to open the ears, the hearts of all those ones who desire the truth and still have faith in that Almighty, the Creator, the Beloved One, the One that is so hidden. And tonight, in this wonderful opportunity, I wanted to, to share, yeah, I know, yes, Kim, yes, dear Kim, I know, we all went through a lot, but we all went through a lot, but we still don't know how much more um, than us the real righteous people went through. Like, it might be that it seems to our eyes that we went through so much, but put it to your mind that it might be that the righteous ones maybe went through even more than that. And it's not downgrading and it's not disrespecting the effort that we put just that there might be maybe there were other people other righteous ones that gave even more than us and by their merit we live now I wanted to tell you something and from heaven they're assisting us that this knowledge will be revealed to the world and it's very important and very necessary. The Creator, he wanted to reveal himself and to give an opportunity to his creations, to creations, to people to attach themselves to him and for them to desire Him and for them to want Him and by that effort to build that merit to earn that reward to be attached to Him and to become one with Him now because that before of time, before the creation the Creator Himself He was only one and there was no one else except of him so for that noble cause of creating the world he had to move himself to the side to create so-called a place that will be empty from his godliness and that's what he did he moved himself so to speak to the sides and created an empty space it's called the empty space and when you look up to the sky you see the space that's the space it's a huge round space and to the center of that darkness he sent a beam of light from that external outside great endless infinite illumination the sea of souls the Creator's great being himself, Havaya Baruch Hu, the Blessed One, the Eternal Present, Infinity itself, and beyond. From that light to the center of darkness, he sent a beam of light. And that beam of light started to be covered in layers and layers and layers of physicality. And those are the worlds that we know as of today. Our globe from its core and the nature that is surrounding the outside layer 
of earth, the water and the trees, and then the animals and humans and the fish in the sea and birds that covers the sky. And above us, the rest of the stars and all the star systems and all this fantastic creation. Now, all of that physical creation is hiding the Creator's light inside of it. Now, even if you peel it, even if you cut it, if you dissect it, you cannot find Him inside because it's not a diamond, it's not a battery, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a chip, it's not a wire, it's a spirit. So immediately when you cut it, if you kill it, it disappears, it melts, it, it runs away, it rises back to its source. It comes back to heaven and disappears. Now, our mission on earth, in every moment and moment, is to remember that what that we see with our eyes are only the coverings of His greatness and it's not reality. This world is a world of lie. It's called Alma de Shikra, the world of lie. It's a world of illusion. Everything that you see is just seem like that. Because to His face there is such great light, to His being, to His existence, there is such great and powerful light that no one can stand and see and look and, and receive. The verse is saying, Lo adam The person cannot see me and stay alive. So what is we supposed to do? We're supposed to recognize his godliness from between the cracks of creation. He covered himself in certain coverings, all those husks and layers and curtains, walls of separation that are blocking the light and filtering it in a way that we will have the ability to enjoy a certain amount that is edible, that we can perceive, that we can digest. And not more than that. If a person takes more than he should, like people that are taking drugs or whatever, they desire a certain spirituality and they go and do whatever like to, to find, or to feel something exciting, there is a toll for that. There is a, a payment for that. And they're damaging their vessels and they become defected because they lose something in that process of earning the spirit. And in the end, it doesn't pay. But, in reality, we're coming back to that way of creation. The Creator Himself sent Himself, sent His light into under those coverings, into under those physical layers of creation. And He's hiding over the... Now His face, His being, His greatness, is so great that a person cannot receive all of his greatness in one moment and just to know Hashem and to understand Hashem completely. There is no way in the world that a person will be able to know and to understand everything about Hashem in one moment. Therefore the Creator divided his godliness into shapes and forms and colors and smells and different kinds of materia that everyone will reveal some portion of his greatness but not all only together all the particles of creation together as one are revealing a real general picture that we're going to call the complete picture of His greatness, of His being. Now, as life forms, as human beings, and as creations, we are stuck in our physical body. And every single one of us is experiencing His life through a certain time tunnel, 
that those are the years of our lives, those are the days of our lives. And we can see with our eyes, listen and hear through our ears and, and experience with our senses. And more than that, we're not able, if something happens in another room and we cannot see to that place, that thing will always be hidden from us until the moment of redemption. What will happen in the moment of redemption? As of today, every single one of us is experiencing his life alone with Hashem. You're alone and Hashem, the creator of the universe, is with you. And you and him are experiencing the world together as one from within. But the Creator, He Himself, He spends the time with every single one of us in the same time. You experience His Godliness, the energy and the light of your soul from your limited spot. And that's how you see life and that's your perspective on life from a certain angle. But the Creator, in the same time that He's with you, in spending His time and life with you, He's also in the same time spending His life and His time with me. And also not only with me, also with all the rest of the friends, with all the rest of the families on earth, with everyone, and not only with people, also with all the creations in the, of the world. The fish is swimming in the ocean, every single one of those billions and billions of fish and all kinds of animals, they have a spark of holiness, a, sh a shine of, of, of the Creator, a, a spark of life inside of them that is experiencing life through them, with them as one. Now, because we are now stuck inside of our bodies and we feel that we are limited and we're not able to receive and to understand everything that goes on in the large picture, why we cannot, because of the thickness and the heaviness of our bodies and as much as the person is more um, defected, went through harder things, been traumatized by, by creation, went through a lot, so then his body is blocking the light of heaven even more and he is able to recognize godliness less and less because of that trap because of that vehicle that is holding us we are stuck in that limitation and we're not able to experience more but in the day of redemption we all gonna understand that everything that happened with us was supervised by the creator and we're going to see how all nature is functioning based on a godly plan. And we're going to recognize that all the creation is a live creation. And we're going to start recognizing and see things outside of the box. Outside of our own trapped and, 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 and constricted mind, narrow mind. Suddenly we're going to see more. And with everything we're going to see, our awareness is going to grow and rise above our physicality until we're going to come, till we're going to come to that place that we will be totally free from the limitation of our bodies. And then we will, because of the love that we're going to feel to every creation we gonna, that we're going to see, in the time of redemption, you're going to see that person and you're going to love him so much. You're, just, like, you're going to be full of love to him and you're going to see that flower. You're just going to love it. You're going to see that tree. You're going to see that animal. You, you won't have any other feeling except of love and appreciation and admiration to any particle of creation. You're just going to see the good in it. You're going to recognize the face of God in that stone, in that table, in that friend of yours, in that house that he gave you, in every single thing, you, the, the voice of heaven will talk to us in such a loud way and clear that 
everything will be perfect and will be seen to, to our eyes and our awareness will grow and grow and expand and expand and expand till we're gonna come to that moment that we're just gonna experience all the worlds together. You're gonna know everything about everything in the Redemption Day. Your mind will be free from all its limitations. Today, if you're gonna ask science, whatever, Google it, you're gonna see your mind is working on maybe five to three to seven percent. You don't think, your senses, you don't feel, you're not aware to the amazing engine of your heart, amazing engine of, of your mind, of your soul. We're not, and we're not even able to recognize how much we're experiencing. We're so blocked and, and sealed in, in our, trapped in our own bodies, in our own patterns, in our own fears, that we're like, no, I don't know, no, I can't see, I can't understand, I'm not touching it, I don't know what's going on. All day long, like you're hiding and blocking and no, that's not for me. I can do that, I cannot, I'm not able to. No, I'm not supposed to. All day long, you're, you're trapping yourself closer and closer, and closing and closing yourself, even worse and worse, too. And, and in one day, it's all going to open. In one moment, it's all going to be open. And you rise, and suddenly you're going to see, and you're going to love, and you're going to recognize. And you will allow yourself to experience and to feel and to think and to sing and to express your feelings and your emotions and you're going to rise to such heights that we all for a moment going to leave our bodies and we're going to be free completely. And on that the verse is saying, I'm going to set you free. I'm going to name you Dror. Dror is the name of freedom. Dor is the name that express the true, complete freedom of, of the spirits from all kinds of, of work, of effort, of being slaves and, and trapped in our fears. And when that happened, when that will happen, when that this is a nature, this is a nature of, of our of of our creation. So it can happen to you also once in a while. Like those are understandings that a person can experience even today. But he will fall back to his place. But in redemption day, it's just gonna happen for good. And that's it. And we're not going to fall back. Now, when it will happen, all of the souls together are going to rise to that amazing place of understanding and seeing the whole picture and understanding exactly what happened with us until now. And, and we're all going to experience this huge mind illumination and all going to rise above our bodies and will be disconnected from our bodies. We're just going to see that as a picture. But in the same time, we're going to see that picture of our reality in that present time. We're also going to see what that happens all around us in the present time. But also, we're going to have the ability and we will see with our eyes all the history, all of the 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 beginning of creation like what all everything that happened since the beginning of creation the first moment in time till the time of redemption it's like you're going to see the the plot you're going to see the story you're going to see the whole movie not only oh my body is over there located with my friends and my siblings and amazing wonderful with my family and we are there everything is cool and me I'm here in heaven looking at all of that no you're gonna see your path you're gonna see the journey you're gonna see how you came to this world and your parents how they came to this world and where your grandparents came to this world from and you're gonna see all the branches you're gonna see all the the chain since the beginning 
you're going to see everything. You're going to understand exactly how it started from Adam Rishon, the first man, and his wife, Chava, Eve. And you're just going to see everything perfect, how it started and how it ended. And you're going to know exactly how many times you came down to earth to live in a different lifetime. And you're going to recognize yourself in that generation. And you're going to see yourself in that generation. And everything going to be open for you. And you will be able to recognize and to see and to understand the reason of why every stone and every grain of, of dust is standing in, it, in its position. And all the picture will be clear for you. And when we, all as one, are going to understand that in our mind, in our souls, in our spirits, in that moment we're going to understand completely that this world is a creation. Today you experience life not as, not with that understanding that this is a creation. You experience your life, your individual path, your lane. You like this chair makes so much noise when I'm talking. Like, and I experience it. I, I'm not above it. It's bothering me. Like I'm sitting, and it makes those annoying noises, and like it's 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 challenging me. Like while I'm talking, I need to think about the chair. But when we will be free from being attached to physicality and we will be clean just to observe and to see and to understand we're going to be above all that we will be free and we will be connected to all the rest of creations from their soul side from the aspect of their spirit and we will see through their eyes through the eyes of everyone through the eyes of creation and by that we're going to understand that the creation is so perfect and that everything is so precise and so measured and so mm, 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 supervised and with such a plan. And everyone will know Hashem. Everyone. Like that the water covers the sea. Everyone will see Hashem. Everyone will know. And the water are flat and covering the sea from above and on that we're saying that everyone will see Hashem like the water covers the sea but you know there are shallow water close to the beach and there are very deep water in the highest deepest spot of the ocean and depends in how dedicated you are today that's how deep will be your understanding in that day that we're all going to see Hashem. And then we're going to see the face of Hashem. How are we going to see the face of Hashem? Because, because every moment is a reflection of His greatness. Every moment, every angle, every situation, every part of our life is reflecting godliness, is a face of heaven. Now heaven has billions no numbers of faces like no, uh, gigantic numbers of, 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 of faces of aspects of illuminations of message that is being sent to us for us to know him for us to recognize him and to surrender ourselves to him and to find his glory and his beauty and his greatness and his endless unconditional love in his creation now when we will see more than our life, we will see all the life that exists, we're going to see everything, we will see His reflection in completion. We will see the complete reflection of His face, but not His, not his face yet. It's still not His face. Then, when we're going to realize that, we will be above earth, we will be in heaven. And then we're going to understand that it was all a creation. And in that moment, we'll come back to our bodies, to a new world, to a healed world, to a happy world, to a world that in that moment that will be above time, 
that we experienced in that moment all the glory of creation and we saw the reflection of the Creator in a perfect way, in that time when we will be separated from our bodies and we're going to have this Aliyat Neshama going to rise with our souls to the heights, in that time all the darkness will disappear from the world. All the evil and all the sadness and all the darkness and all the pain and all the sorrow, everything will just gonna suck into the core of creation and will be the new energy will be burnt in the heat of the core of creation, the center of the universe, and the world will live based the new world will live based on the energy of all that evil that will be slaughtered and disappeared and sucked and buried into the core of creation. And based on its energy, the world will bloom and will rise. And that will be the payback of all forces of darkness to be burnt for good, forever, for 1,000 years, that we will enjoy prosperity and growth and blooming and, and happiness and all aspects and kinds of joy and satisfaction from life and, and, and there will be no end because all our dreams will come true and all your hopes will take place in your life and every person in such harmony will enjoy everything he hoped for you're gonna see all those ones that you missed so badly all those ones that you lost you're going to be surrounded by your beloved ones and all the answers to all your questions will be solved and you will see the light and everything will come to your face with such grace and served on silver plate and then we'll come back to this world into that healed world and illuminated and healthy world when all creation is reflecting His greatness in full power in an active way that all the animals are working and understanding humans and all humans are friends and there are no reason to worry anymore and no one lack a thing and everyone are walking and dancing and everyone takes out his instruments and plays and if you're a guitar player you suddenly got the best guitar ever like whoa the the guitar of your life the your the dream the the most dreamy guitar ever just like it's yours, like with no doubts. That one that you dreamt on and even even better than you can imagine. And pianos will be all over the place. What like whatever you need. If you like to dance, like you're gonna have the best tap shoes ever, whatever you like. You're a break dancer, you'll have everything you need, the best beat, the best sounds, the best performers, everyone will surround you and everything will be perfect and fit to everyone else in such harmony that by that we'll understand the unconditional love of the Creator to His creations. And with that positive spirit, we're gonna walk toward the Holy Land of Israel to the holy city of Yerushalayim to see the holy face of the Almighty. Not His refle reflection anymore, just His real true face. And in that journey of walking as one person toward the holy city of Jerusalem, to Zion, in that journey we'll build the vessels of humility and, and appreciation and gratitude to accept the face of the Creator, of the Lord, of God, of Hashem in His chosen place, in the place that He chose. And over there in Jerusalem it will be fantastic. And Mashiach, the real Messiah, He will walk with us, He will lead us. Him and His wife and His children, that amazing family, will lead us to the redemption and everyone will know him and everyone will understand their position in the redemption and there will be no jealousy and no envy and no one will be angry at each other and everyone will be happy to see each other succeeding and blooming and rising and it will be just perfect perfect 
it will be just perfect. I said it many times. I saw those things and the Creator opened my eyes to see those things and those things came to me when I was awake and sober and, and able to recognize the message of the Creator to us and it's very clear that we should just hold hands together. Now, there is much more to say and there is a lot more to talk about but it's time my friends to say goodbye all right are you able to say good night so i bless you from the bottom of my heart even though i'm willing to talk to you some more and to reveal more of the secrets and the holy ancient knowledge that the creator is revealing to me just for you to be happy for you to believe in yourselves and to understand the greatness of your souls and your true potential and I'm talking about it for you to understand that it's time for you to go and claim of what it belongs to you it's ours to claim and when judgments are coming and when negative things are happening to us we must understand all this negativity is the jealousy of the angels the real true creator is not who people describe to us as God. The real Creator is that one that is redeeming us, the one that created this huge and perfect creation with all the depths of creation, with all the beauty of nature and the spirit, the spiritual aspect of it that all the flowers and all the leaves and everything is so like deep and the atoms of, of every particle, such a structure, such a building, such an empire, such a great, great, gigantic creation with no end to its depths that we cannot understand, that we cannot understand, that we cannot measure, that we cannot estimate and all to reveal finally in the end His greatness in full power, His greatness for us to enjoy, to attach ourselves to Him with full power. So every time that you are being judged in your thoughts, in the thoughts of other people, every time that you feel that you are damaged, that you are disconnected, that you are limited, remember it's from the side of your body, it's from the side of the exile, it's from the side of the husks, it's from the side of the coverings that are blocking the heavenly light that is treasured inside of you. You need to ignore all the obstacles, you need to fight against all negative thoughts and just to be righteous and pure and to let the illumination of your soul shine and to become a lighthouse to the world with no end with no end with no end and then no one in the world will be able to defeat you and to overpower you no one no one there will be no one no one I hope you got the message right and I bless you to succeed and to be always happy and healthy and may the Creator answer to all of our prayers in no time and to bring the complete redemption and to reveal His godliness from that darkness that he is at. And he, the Creator, is trapped in the exile because when he sent our souls down to earth, he sent himself in our souls to the exile of this world because there was no one else except of him. And he sent himself to behind the curtains. And the verse is saying, And to your salvation we're waiting all day long, to the salvation of Hashem for him and for us to be redeemed as one. Amen. Can you hear that Thank you. The world is not exist because Olam Milchon Elev, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just inside of an illusion.